pushing the Cole, utilizing submissions time and time again. Now goes for the Cole Red. Plants are no. Did you see Craven's head snap off the mat? I thought that was all. Craven has to recover here. Powers up. Oh! Right to the stutter, hooks the leg. Can this be it? No! Craven was going to first add to a wheelbarrow suplex. Guess not. And I got to say, the Alexa Nicole's doing a lot better in this matchup than I had given her on. Still an uphill battle against the mountain, though, I got to say. A lot better doesn't matter. You can't put away the champion, though, Dr. Bob. Jump on, perhaps. Oh, cliffhanger. And will that be it? It is. That's a Craven retains her Fat Patel Championship. face on our banners. Cancer Stinks, we dedicate this to him and all the other people in the wrestling fraternity who have passed the cancer. It wouldn't be a fighting back event without an ISW awful matchup and this one definitely something a little bit different as I believe this is Fluffy the Killer Bunny's first appearance in Canada and that is a scary, scary lot of He's the sixth champion in that lineage of the belt. And uh, both of these opponents would really want to win. They've both been ISW regulars. Both a little bit intimidated, perhaps, of Fluffy. <laughs> Got the strength advantage. You can't, ca you can't count out the catch as catch can frustration. Bastion Snow, a former ISW tag team champion, or Leon St. Giovanni, who's no! been making his name in the Ring of Honor promotion. LSG is the human rocket. He's changed up a little bit since last time Ottawa has seen him. Regular tag team with his partner, Shaheem Ali, in the coast to coast tag team. But oh! Big shout to the stomach. You saw some double team. I don't think Giovanni. this is smart. No, that was not smart at all, Dr. Bob. Bastion and Giovanni are going to double team Fluffy. That's falling apart. Into an STO. 
covers. I think I you need know. a little bit of butter here. I don't think that's going to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bastion powers up Giovanni. Short shot to the chest. Fluffy on the outside. Trying to regain his bearings if he had any. Drops down over. Giovanni showing why he is a human rocket. Faster, quicker than a hiccup. Big forearms, and that has been adding uh, moves to his repertoire like that. Springboard, the tornillos, the 450s. Whoa! <laughs> High impact move from Fluffy comes off the rope. Sliding elbow. Thought a man that big couldn't run, couldn't fly. That man can do it all right now. Showing why he is the ISW other champion. You see the speed. He was able to hit those maneuvers. Looks hard to see him for Fluffy. Bastion Snow, no slouch either, part of the Food Fighters, and he's been fighting back 2013, 2014, if my records are correct here. And again, the challengers try to double team the champion, just like that, cuts him off. <laughs> Terrifying this crowd, uh, and Paul's got some little children out here. Fluffy comes off the ropes, gets caught. Super kick, pump kick combination. Not able to take the champion off his feet. Oh, spikes into the sky. The rocket about to blast off. Watch this. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> to the back of the shell. Bastion Snow used the brains. Whoa. Drop kicks Fluffy to a cannonball on LSG. It's coming with some momentum here. Cannonball of his own, catching him with the hardest part of his body, the shell. How are those legals, Dr. Bob? I don't, I don't know I don't how you can take him off. LSG's known for his, oh, and the quick pin. The pin with right. the spikes right into the body as well. Can't be feeling good for Leon St. Joe. He's well known for his finish. He's been here in the States club, but I don't think he can pick up either of his opponents for that butterfly and those explosion. We'll see what else he can pull out of his bag of tricks right now. Grabbing him by the ears. Bastion Snow trying to pull him up. I don't think I've ever seen a grab and a bunny fight, but here it is. I don't think the ring can support the weight up here. We talked about the super fight at Lawler and Bailey. What about the super fight between Bunny and Crab? And their species is right. Oh, oh, God. Rough landing. Rough landing. Here comes Giovanni. Big splash. Hooks the inside leg. Still out of the to kick out at two. Fluffy. Ah. Fluffy. Oh, Able to avoid serious injury, rough landing for the bunny. Spins him around, not gonna make the same mistake. Oh, he learned from that one. Genovani having an advantage here. Almost. Two and a half here. Oh! With the bunny bridge. Series of quick impact maneuvers. Still not able to do it. Fluffy's gonna want to hit the bunny hop in his Fluffy's last ride to try to secure the win right now. After 840 days, he is in no mood to give this up right now at a huge event, fighting back 2018. Giovanni pulls himself up. Fluffy whips him off the ropes, lifts him up. Oh, almost with Fluffy's last ride. Hits the big overhead kick. Forearm takes the big man down, hooks the leg. Almost with the three here. I mean the big bunny. Take the big bunny down. Big bunny, yes, that's right. Pulling by the ears again. I don't know if the referee Serge won't let that go. You know Serge doesn't have his glasses on right now, but still, we've got to see that. Giovanni off the ropes. Here comes Fluffy. Whoa! Bunny Sakudi. Oh, God, that was my call, Adam. Great move by Fluffy. Play on top of it. Wait a minute. Dr. Bob, that's... Are they gonna go for it? What? The shell sent on! Wait. Big red for the food fighters! Your seventh other champion! The new ISW other champion! Bastion Snow! Bastion Snow with the assist from Pasquale! Do the Food Fighters reunite and they they defer?
How do you know that? <laughs> that is a weird fact that you know that. Did you ask for him to hug you or something? How do you know that? Nobody probably said hug you twice over. And, and I'd like to say I'm very happy that you threw Tim Sylvia's name on the commentary. I don't even think, they don't even drop his name in MMA fights anymore. <laughs> wow. Tim who? What are you, you going to drop it? Andre Arlovsky next or? Here we go, Josh Alexander. Two men that I really look up to in the world of professional wrestling. Josh Alexander and textbook Tyson Duke squaring off in the middle of this ring. These guys know each other. They know the ins and outs of each other because they've traveled the road so much together. I believe Bobby Lash's last outing in MMA resulted in a uh, decision loss to none other than James Thompson. Doesn't surprise me that it went to a decision, though. James Thompson, the, uh, the British debt collector slash bounty hunter, six feet. Is that his nickname, really? That's his nickname? Oh, I thought that's what he did for a living. Yeah, okay, that's what he does for a living, yeah. Beautiful reversals back and forth. See, this is what I'm talking about. When you get to know your opponent, when you travel the road together, you know the ins and outs of each other. It takes everything you've got to keep each other down. Or to keep the other man down, I should say, sorry. I, I, I don't even feel I can blink here, Prince. I'm gonna miss something. No, you might. I just jump in here for a sec, guys. I think no, you suck. Give it back to Sam. I think the technique here of Tyson Dukes and Sebastian 12 is just perfect to ground a guy like Bobby Lashley and just work him down. We saw in the last match. We can easily see it here tonight with Tyson Dukes and Sebastian 12. Thank you for this unintelligent insight. Now pass it on to Sam. I apologize, fans at home. We have a chimp over here who's learning how to speak English. And he grabs the microphone every once in a while to talk. Beautiful snap mirror by Tyson Dukes. Nothing else. You just said long head. All right. Wow, that's, yeah, I know. That's a medical term. Thank you, Dr. Sam. Most fans would just say the arm. They don't know what you're talking about. Tag out by textbook Tyson Dukes. My fellow countryman and brother at arms, Sebastian Suave. You've never seen him wrestle before, have you? You have! So you know what you're in for. It's a treat. That's, that's just the strength of Josh Alexander. Picks him up from the headlock takeover, whips him off. Stalemate, though, on the shoulder shrug. Smart by Josh Alexander with the drop down. Leapfrog. Roll through, nip up, arm drag. And another arm drag, Sebastian Suave. In trouble, there's the Irish whip reversal. Kitchen sink. Oh my god, standing Hurricane Ronald by Josh Alexander. That's the athleticism I'm talking about. People don't expect that from Josh Alexander. Big chop from Sebastian Suave. I wouldn't play this game. I would not play this game with Josh Alexander. Oh my God! Freak the boss! The dominator, Bobby Lashley. Adam sitting next to me just peed himself seeing Bobby Lashley enter the ring. I hope so too. I'm not stepping in it either way. Bobby Lashley now. So, he's, he, he's cut off the corner though. This shows that his pro wrestling mind is still in there. He knows to cut off uh, Sebastian Swamp from his corner. One of the few on the planet. Crowd calling for silence. They were expecting the chop, but Sebastian smartly goes to the ropes, so the referee has to step in. Wow, that's not going to work. Ducks the line. Big punch, Lashley. Not hurt at all. Whoa! That is a high leap frog. That is athleticism. He almost hit the ceiling. Picks him up for the stalling suplex. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Drops him on the twelve. All the blood rushing to Sebastian Suave's head. Sebastian must be having problems hearing right now. All that blood rushes brain. And here's the thing, here's the thing, Lashley's used to fighting guys who are his own weight class category. Absolutely, so again, another advantage for him here in the ring. So, exactly. I wonder if the strategy changes when you fight a smaller person. Often the smaller individuals tend to be a little faster, they often tend to have better endurance as well. Their strength to weight ratios tend to be a little greater. A little bit more wily in the fight, yeah, a little bit more. I'll tell you this, Sebastian is one of those guys who will do anything to win. I know that. It is hard. He he will lie, cheat, steal, it doesn't matter. He'll do what it takes to win. Pretty clean up until about now. It's not desperation. It's not a fact of desperation. It's all about wins and losses. That's all that matters. Sebastian understands that. Forearms. Big chop. Is that a backhand? That was a backhand. It looked like a backhand in the face. Northern Lights suplex, roll through. He's got it with the key team, but reversal. Tucks the line from textbook. Tyson Dukes picks him up. Then a five. Excuse me, that's not an F5. I said that wrong. You know you're both men in the corner. There's a forearm. Jumping knee strike. It's harder and harder to call these matches. The skill level, the speed is just so much improved. Well, I'm, I'm usually used to being in the room. This is one of my first times commentating, so the, the, the speed at which they're hitting these moves is just impressive. It's impressive. It's hard to commentate. I can only imagine how much pain. Oh my god, did you just see that? That's where he gets the name textbook from. He understands his way in and around that ring. He knows what to do and where to use the moves. See, that was that was a beautiful move. It was a reversal. It looked like he was going for a roll-up. Dropped him head first on that bomb turnbuckle. He knew he was there. Chops him down to size. You're also familiar with the pain of each uh, move. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you this. Tyson Dukes can tear you limb from limb. He's just that good. Shot to the kidney and to the gut. Or the solar plexus, if you will, Dr. Hume. <laughs> I can't compete with you in those words. Oh, that's just smart tag team wrestling. Distraction on the referee. Just like you said. Did you see that boot that textbook Tyson Dukes gave on the outside of the ring? That's just smart. Referee not looking, anything goes. Grinding the forearm into the bridge of the nose. Did you catch that? That'll make your eyes water that. And that's smart, because then you can't see clearly. Everything's a blur in the ring. Chopping him down to size. I wonder if we'll see uh, the much vaunted punching power of uh, Bobby Ashley in here today. Oh God, if he did that, they might need a medic. Hey, you're a doctor. They might need you to go in the ring and help someone. <laughs> Tyson Dukes just stomping away at Josh Alexander's face. There's that big reach you're talking about. It's interesting, some of the, some of the more wrestling-based MMA fighters long arms and legs. Look at John Jones and they W. Ashley, even Brock Lesnar. King Mo. King Mo's got a good reach for an amateur wrestler. You know what it is though, it's because in amateur wrestling, that reach comes in handy when you're shooting in for a takedown. You need that reach. Both men exchanging forearms in the middle of the ring. Big forearms, uppercuts. We switched to Euro uppercuts. Trip into the corner, he's charging in. Big splash in the corner. Whoa, he caught him by the trunk. <laughs> That's a beautiful reversal from Tyson Dukes. The boot reversal. Spinning roaring elbow, but no, gets caught with the big slap. Looks like he's going for a German. Forms by textbook Tyson Dukes. No! Oh my god! Oh, just German suplexed him. With raw power. 
That's the core strength I'm talking about that people don't get with Josh Alexander. My back broke because he has such a strong core. Here comes Lashley. Lashley's in now. Good God. Lashley's a house on fire. Look at the power. Scooped him up like he was a child. And I'll say this, Tyson Dukes is not a small guy. He just looked small standing next to Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley with the whip into the corner. So he's coming in for a train. Oh, big line. Look at this. He just picked him up in the torture rack like it was nothing. Smart move by both men. Send him off. He breaks that. Double close line. Picks up Sebastian Suave. Oh my god! DDT by textbook Tyson Dukes. Smart. That was very smart though from Tyson Dukes to realize Bobby Lashley was in a vulnerable position. You said it. Boy, what timing on that. Again, textbook for a reason. <laughs> Boots him in the corner now. Josh Alexander still recovering on the outside. See, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to say this, but I kind of do have to give the advantage to Tyson Dukes over Bobby Lashley, because Bobby Lashley's focusing on two careers lately. Tyson Dukes has been focusing solely on pro wrestling. One, two, three. And this is where, you know, the tag team comes in handy, because they can isolate Bobby Lashley now in their corner. He was winning in the cage. And it looks like he's uh, special. Oh, he did it for his cardio, yes, absolutely. And you can see the improvements that he's got. Absolutely. What do we got here? Oh, oh my god! Barely got him over, but managed to do so. That's what I was talking about earlier, and I said, you know, Tyson Dukes is not a small guy. He's just small next to Bobby Lashley. There's still raw strength in there. They know how to move those big dudes. They yeah, they do. It's a kinesthetic sense, you know? Little known fact, actually, Tyson Dukes did some MMA himself and some boxing. He actually did have some boxing background in him. Yeah, he, he, did some, he did some boxing in his time, so he knows how to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bigger guys. He can hold his own in there. Diversity, combat experience like that. He's well versed as Tyson Dukes. Big boot! Drops Lashley. Lashley almost fell out of the ring. See that? Half of Bob, like Bobby Lashley's lower half is hanging outside the ring. Phenomenal. Here comes Sebastian Suave. Bobby Lashley is receiving in. In a world of hurt, they've isolated him. As I was about to say earlier before Sebastian Suave tagged out though, he may be the smallest guy in the ring, but don't underestimate his intelligence. He is very smart. I'll tell you, one of my favorite smaller built wrestlers of all time was a dynamite kid. And I'll tell you, that guy. He was amazing and he was smart. He knew how to utilize the ring. Absolutely. He could generate a ton of power in that little body of his. He would snap suplex 300 pound men like it was nothing. Bobby Lashley firing up. Can't tell me those punches don't hurt. Punch to the face drops a big line. And Tyson Dukes is down. Both men down. Bobby Lashley's got to make a tag. He's probably running on fumes right now. And he managed to tag Josh. Josh Alexander coming in 
firing up now on Smash and Swab. On your countryman. Big boot. Yep, chest. Big roaring clothesline. Wow, a roaring clothesline. Goes for the pump handle. Tyson Dukes in with the drop toe hold. Very smart reversal again by Tyson Dukes. Running chop in the corner. Up and over, Tyson Dukes lands on his feet, blocks the punch, spins him around. Going for the cutter, blocked by Josh Alexander, the neck breaker on the ropes. It's the ropes. Oh! Both of them tumbling out to the arena floor. Sebastian Suave waiting for Josh Alexander to come in, missing the big boot. Josh, forearm, big forearm by Josh Alexander. Picks him up. Oh! Just drops him right on the back of his head. There's a sunset flip. Cover referee does not count it. Pure power. And the reversal from textbook Tyson Dukes. Reversal by Josh Alexander for one. Big kick to the head. Here comes in Bobby Lashley. He's had enough. Big spear. Destroy Tyson Dukes. Josh Alexander with the pump handle. Pile driver. Sorry, that's the... Match. Match. Double underhook, pile driver. And that's our C4 champion. Double underhook, pile driver. Team of Bobby Lash and Jaws Alexander victorious here in the main event. Of this incredible interpromotional fundraising time. I'm still impressed by Bobby Lashley. That's a specimen of a beast. wrestling but they're gonna have their hands full here This is going to be one to remember for damn sure. And it's main event time here at Fighting Back 3. Oh man, this is going to be one to remember. Absolutely. First ever teaming of Paul London and Speedball Mike Bailey, the C4 champion, taking on the Super Smash Brothers. Unfortunately, Brian Kendrick couldn't be here, but I think Mike Bailey is maybe even a superior replacement Look at this. to Brian Showing respect to everybody here with the bows. The, the, each other, the referee, their opponents. As if going around the venue shaking hands and hugging everybody wasn't enough of a show of respect from Paul London. He's now bowing to everybody in the ring. Oh, and here it is. Play Reno and Mike Bailey, no strangers to one another. And here they are starting things off here, fighting back, wrestling with Cancer 3. Mike Bailey now shakes hands with Uno. Absolutely. Show respect. 
These two have had absolute wars all over the provinces of Quebec and Ontario. Backs him up into the corner, does play Aruno. Clean break, look at this. But More unlike unlike previous fighting backs, Bailey this time has a partner. He won't be taking on both Super Smash Brothers by himself. He'll have that backup in Paul London. Absolutely. A world-traveled pro wrestling veteran is Paul London. Mike Bailey here in control of player Uno with the arm ringer. Uno with the reversal. Backs him up into the ropes. Sends him off. Whoa! Oh, into the cartwheel. Whoa! And Uno bobs out of the way of that high kick from Bailey. Bailey's oh, looking yes. to unload those kicks early. Showing Uno thought. Respect, but what's this? Uno wants a piece of Paul London. <laughs> Paul London pointing to a fan. <laughs> Actually, he's pointing to one of our larger security members here. See? Ah, okay. This very well-built security member. <laughs> and it doesn't take long for London to interject oh, himself man. into this contest. London tagged in. London and the Super Smash Brothers, no strangers to one another either. They had wars in, uh, in uh, 2CW as well as out in Quebec. But right now, it's all about what's going on here in Ottawa as Paul London shakes hands, again showing respect to player Uno. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh, calling up with high up center of the ring. Paul London, player Uno. Oh, powers him into the corner. London with the reversal. Putting the pressure on player Uno here. Now, would you oh. agree, Mike? There's something about fighting back events that just brings out this more aggressive, more killer instinct side of both Smash Brothers. Because everybody needs to impress. These two guys, they're fighting in the memory of their best friend, Frank Moray, and they got something to prove here. Calling elbow type, center of the ring once again. Paul London quick to the hammerlock. Play Uno looking to get out of this predicament, reaching through the legs, reaching up above for the hair. London slowing things down, applies the hammerlock. Uno reverses. Yeah, turns it around and does play Uno. Now wrenching away on the arm of Paul London. Paul London now with the roll through. Another roll through. Once again now, arm ringer in control of the arm of play Uno. And this is what London has to do. He has to slow the pace down a bit, especially with a man like Uno who has a considerable size. Unfortunate thing to happen in a contest like this with so much on the line here. Player Uno falling victim to a shoulder injury. Uno now looks like he might be better now. He might have popped that back into place. Yeah, but back to the middle of the ring here. We see Paul London in control. Nope, stupefied with the reversal here. I keep calling him stupefied, even though his name is Stu Grayson now. I think for tonight we can call him stupefied. I'll call him whatever I want. Fair enough. Oh, this now. Little hops, floats over, does Paul London into the pinning predicament. Stu able to get it at one. Front face lock now. London has definitely brought his working shoes here tonight, just wrestling completely toe-to-toe -to -toe with both Smash Brothers. Uno tag back in. Double X handle across the arm of Paul London. Side headlock applied here. London takes off against the ropes. Sends him off, does Paul London. Big shoulder tackle from player Uno. And that shoulder having no problems now for player Uno. That's the ropes. Oh, and another. Player Uno unloading on Paul London with the shoulder tackles. He took a powder, but right now Uno looking impressive here. Powering London down. Oh, and another. Player Uno like a raging bull. Taking Paul London off his feet three consecutive times. Once again. London stops him. Puts on the brake, slaps away. Oh, Hurricane Rana. In the corner now, big forearm by London. Bringing the arm now, Paul London. Whips him to the opposite the corner. Oh, up and over goes Paul London. Uno swings the line, but a miss. Musso, oh! oh! On to play, Uno hooks the legs. Only a two count. Uno sucked up the pain, got that shoulder back into place, and right now has London trapped in the corner. Oh, shoulder tackles in the midsection from a uh, player dose in the corner. Yeah! Face first on that top rope. 
Smash Brothers looking to cut off player Uno here. I mean, sorry, London. <laughs> Chopped by Stu. Now some shoulder rams. Oh, God. Big chop. And like I said, there's just something about fighting back events that brings up this more oh, aggressive, kicks. more tenacious side. Kicks from Paul London, then another sends him across the ring here. Whoa! Oh. Floats over to Paul London, waist lock. Stu able with the elbow out of the predicament. Drop salt. Oh, oh, drop salt! Still a thing of beauty. That double-footed drop kick into the moonsault from Paul London, commonly known as the drop salt. Hits Caught it with precision. No, sends him off. Blind tag by Mike Bailey. Stu none the wiser. His back turned. Bailey in. Kick caught. Whoa. Sent up and over. Ducks the line. Bailey Springs off the second. Up. up and around. Beautiful Whoa. head scissor. Tip up Bailey by is Bailey. Up. Hits the ropes once again. Up and over. Looking for the sunset flip. Takes him over. Oh, only good for two. Oh, jumping knee by Stu. Caught Bailey right on the chin. Bailey's definitely rocked here. Tags quickly out to London again. Jumping kick from Paul London. Bridge is over. Kick out by Stu. Bailey definitely feeling the effects of that knee. Thought wiser and tagged London back in. I gotta say, Paul London has definitely been delivering here. Powers up Stu. Knees to the head from Stu. Slides down. London's rocked. Barrel roll. Oh, in comes Uno tag. again. Close oh. line. Uno oh. like a house of fire. Big chop. Oh, what's this? London catching Uno here. Kick to the midsection. Caught by player Uno. Send over to back A. Uno no. with the big neck breaker. Referee assisted. Here comes but Bailey now with the boot. Sends Uno around. Kick to the midsection. Oh. Bailey hits the ropes. Up. And a round of the backbreaker from player Uno. Well done by player Uno, almost breaking Bailey over his knee. Covers, only gets two counts. Stu puts the boot right on the top turnbuckle. Oh, look at this. Assist from player Dose as Bailey sent face first into that exposed boot. Slapping oh, over. The vaulting sent on. Only gets two count again. It appears to me that the Smash Brothers now have found that opening they've wanted. They have cut off Whoa, Mike Bailey. Man. Let's look for the backdrop nonchalantly just sends him down hard. Covers. Only a two count again. Mike Bailey tried reaching out for the tag to London. Stu cuts him off. Uno's now got the boot on the top turnbuckle. Oh, face first into that boot goes Mike Bailey once again. Tag out to player Uno. The frequent tags being utilized by uh, the Super Smash Brothers shows that they are the more experienced team in this match for sure. The moonsault fist drop combination. Beautiful Cover. sink on that move. Only good for two. Uno appears to be fired up here but wasting some time. Give, giving Bailey some time here to recover. Oh, oh big shot. Player Uno to Mike Bailey in the corner. Not a lot of power behind that. Yeah, but Player Uno is known for those chest blistering chops. Look at this now. Powers him into the suplex. Takes him over with ease, this Player Uno. And the big leaping leg drop. Hooks the leg now. Bailey kicks out again. London trying to reach for the tag. Yeah, Bailey desperate to make the tag. He wants out of there. He wants no part of player Uno and, and player Dose right now. There appears to be a bit of a cut on the arm of Mike Bailey. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a maneuver. Exposing the ribcage of Mike Bailey as, as stupefied player Dose, Stu Grayson, whatever you know him as, dropping the big frog splash on there. Front face lock applied. Look at this. Once again, neutralizing him here. SSB with some innovative double team maneuvers, continually working down Mike Bailey. Absolutely one of the most dominant teams in the independent wrestling game today. The Super Smash Brothers are in control of Mike Bailey, but Mike Bailey fighting back. Oh, Uno with the big knee lift cuts him off. For years, the Smash Brothers were completely overlooked by the independent wrestling world, but over the last few years, they have definitely made their mark. Looking here tonight. Oh. Big back elbow. To add to that resume by defeating the C4 champion and a star like Paul London. Oh, spinning toe kick caught by player Uno, sends him around, waist lock. Looking for that, that avalanche German, but Bailey able to elbow out of it. Charge the cut! Oh, man! 
Drops him on his face with that move that Crimson from TNA stole. I don't know what he calls it, so I call it that. Who cares? It's Crimson. Fact remains. London now trying to reach out for the tag. Stu offering his hand to Uno. Mike Bailey desperately needs to make that tag out to Paul London. Tags him in. Oh, man. Stu and London. In. Oh, big clothesline. And another. Stu, a house of fire. Oh, big spinning heel kick. London came in, house of fire. Stu cuts him off that big clothesline. Uno's taking a powder on the floor. Oh, man. London firing back with a combo of his own. I gotta tell you, Paul London has just been completely on point tonight. Well, this now, he's up. These two men now trading forearm strikes in the center of the ring here. Oh, look at this. Just clubbering each other. Oh, my God. Oof. Who is going to get the better of that exchange? They might have collided heads there. Both come oh, oh, no! <laughs> London on Uno. Stu on Bailey. This is ridiculous. The zigzag suicide dives. Uno took out a few rows of chairs there. Stu showboating slides back in the ring. Well, picks up London. Caught by Stu, ele elevated fireman's carry. London able to float over. Raps looking for Tiger Suplex. Stu looking for half and half. London switches. Oh! oh! Drops him face first. London covers. Only gets two counts. London wasting a little bit of time following up with the cover there, allowing oh, Stu to get the shoulder up. Well, it's now Paul London. Going up top, no one to use that shooting star, much like his partner, Mike Bailey. Watch the chandelier, here comes Uno. Oh, Uno's grabbing the leg. But London able to shake him off, but Stu, slowing the rise here, charges in. London up and over, tags out to Mike Bailey. Oh, Stu hits the corner, nobody home. Oh, kick combination in the corner. And Zaguri in the spinning the soul butt. Mike Bailey, beautiful moonsault, double knee stomp. Only gets a two count again. Man, that was some Tony Jaw stuff right there. Stu survived the double kicks. Then Bailey followed up, followed up with that moonsault knee drop. Look at this now. Frequent tags being utilized by the team of Paul London and Mike Bailey. Double Irish whip. Stu now cuts them off. Nips up. Double oh. watch kick. Playing tribute to Guile from Street Fighter 2. And stupefied in one flick motion, takes out both of the speedball hooligans. Trying to get some life out of this crowd, takes out the player Uno. Uno now goes straight after Bailey, sends him to the outside. With relative ease from Uno. Oh, big uh, Vader like splash from Uno. Kick to the midsection. Paul London hits the ropes. Falcon Pies! Oh! Looking for the Falcon Arrow! Covers. London kicks out of two. Holy cow, this match. This has been a hell of a main event so far. But SSB having their troubles with Mike Bailey and Paul London. It's pretty crazy considering this is the first time Paul London and Mike Bailey have ever teamed up. Oh no. Oh, that's a little bit of miscommunication. But Bailey up, double drop kick from the top rope. Kips up. up. Mike Bailey. Oh, man. Stu swats away the kick. Some body, 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 head. Body, body, head again. Oh, that was it, the head kick. Simply for the outside, the DDT, but caught by player Uno. Watch this, Mike. Oh, my God, get him over. The water wheel slam into the lung blower. There's London. Oh, man. London in to break it up at the last millisecond. That was a definite last minute save from Paul London. Oh man. London now opening up on both Super Smash Brothers. He's got Stu Prone in the corner here. But the damage has been done to Mike Bailey. Uppercut forearms from Paul London. Oh, Uno with a forearm of his own. Showing him his boss right there. Stu Purse on that top rope. Series of jabs here from player Uno. Oh my god. Jab, jab. Comes off the ropes. ropes. That's a double line here. Waste lock applied. Sends Paul London into Bailey. Paul, uh, Falcon punch. Foot caught. Sends it into Paul London. Oh my god. Oh, big pump kick. Turns him inside out. 
My tongue is getting tired here, Adam. Rough landing from Mike Bailey. German suplex! Oh! Flash! Mike Bailey hits the ropes! Shooting start. Oh, oh corkscrew. corkscrew press! Oh, no! But Bailey landed hard, unable to capitalize on the move here and make the pin. All four men down. Now this is the way you end an event here with four of the best wrestlers on the independent scene. My goodness, this is crazy. Uno in London on the outside. Oh. Bailey shoves back K out of the way. Oh, you know what Bailey's looking for here? He's looking to go up top. If you think Paul London's stream start press is impressive, you have yet to see Mike Bailey's. Yeah, but Bailey is taking a sweet time. Still able to get up. Big leaping insecurity. But Bailey's shrugging it off. Oh, shot in the face, sends Stu down. Bailey now up. Oh no. Oh, oh. oh he's caught. He's got him up. Argentine backbreaker. Oh, but Bailey able to float over here. Tango to Paul London. Forearm shots from, from Mike Bailey. Kicks Stu the might have missed Stu the tag. Oh! oh! Moose here it comes, here it comes. London is up. London start press. Oh! oh! Shooting start press. One, two, three. It's over. <laughs> and Paul London and Mike Bailey have just defeated the Super Smash Brothers <laughs> in what has got to be one of the best tag team contests I have ever seen. Ridiculous. Wow. Our unofficial amount right now for Fighting Back 3 is $11,400.